What's up guys, I'm Deadman, and today we're going to be playing some Soccer Angels. And if you know anything about the series, then you know it's basically a game about tits. Basically. I mean, I haven't played much of it, so I don't know, but I've seen playthroughs and different things. Not this one particularly, I can't remember which one I watched. But, yeah. Know what we're in for, kids. It's dark, I'm scared. Every night, I have the same dream. Every night, I, I'm always brought back to this place without fail. And every morning, I wake up with no memory of this place at all. Until the next time I fall asleep. Not a single night has went by without my consciousness being dragged into this abyss. This realm is devoid of light. So much that I can't even see my hand from my face, no matter how desperately I waved it. But this motherfucker had my hand seizure here. The concept of sound is just absent. My steps silent, and my distressed cries swallowed by the bordering darkness as quickly as they left my mouth. I'm in a bleak, barren wasteland of nothingness. This is happy. I thought I was getting about to hit. It's not. Fuck. It's spending any prolonged amount of time here begins to make me doubt my very own existence. Yet, despite feeling suffocated by striking the absence of nothing, anything, I know I'm not alone. Something's watching me, stalking me from the shadows. Side of something in the corner of my view. A pair of burning bright eyes fixated purely on me. They hate me, despise me. There's an overwhelming sense of animosity radiating wherever they belong to. I know they want nothing more than to lash out and attack me, but something's been holding them back. A force they truly despise. Invisible chains that bind it, restrict them. Of one thing is on their mind. One thing is on their mind, kids. At first, I began dreaming about this place. The eyes were distant, like glimmering stars. Well, that's pretty. How is that like scary? Oh, I'm poking too many holes in it. With each passing night, my eyes seem ever closer and shine ever brighter. I think whatever force has been holding them me is beginning to fade. What will happen when these eyes reach me? I shudder to think. I know it's just a dream, so I shouldn't be afraid. Everything I've experienced here is so vivid. Not the usual murky haze that surrounds such a dreamlike environment seem to exist here. I have perfect clarity. You sound like you have perfect clarity, man. Keep, keep it up, man. I'm telling you. I can feel the stagnant, freezing air all around me. How is air stagnant? Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm poking Timmy Ellis there. Back to the story, kids. Nothing in sight. A shiver out of me every once in a while. I'm so used to this dream, I know how it ends. I'll fade for the darkness for what seems like an eternity, never ending anything. Until morning finally comes and pulls me out of this nightmare. At last, at least. Man, I can fucking read like a champ, I know. That knows, knows how it usually ended. Something is different tonight. Those hateful burning guys I always kept just one outside before. I'm suddenly confronted by them. Never before have they been so close. Never before have I stared right back into them. Their narrow curtains and gaze roosts. I'm shooting pains shoot through me. Oh my god, this I thought this was a game about tits, not reading. I can't move. 
and then out of the darkness, a crooked smile spreads. This is sinister as the eyes. So close. I can practically taste the freedom. It won't be long now. Enjoy the peace while you can, boy. For your days are numbered. And then everything shall change. Ah, at least we're out of that depressing shit now. Time to get them titties. Oh, God. My head is killing me. Those morning migraines are the worst. Every morning, without fail, I wake up to a sensation not unlike my skull being pounded by a jackhammer. How the fuck do you know what that feels like? almost like a heartbeat. I feel my head's gonna split open. It's weird though, because even though the pain is so intense, it never lasts long. In this space, it takes me to get up. My head for school. The pain is usually reduced, but just a dull throb in the back of my skull. You might need to get that checked out. Just maybe. So they ain't too much of a hassle in the grand scheme of things. But it certainly isn't a fun way to wake up. I just have to find it in the odd how constant seems to be. Go to the fucking doctor. Anyway, the punter of these weird mysteries. It's time to tackle the day! Woohoo! Oh, well, we fucking actually tackled it. After a moment of wrestling with my blanket, I swing my legs around and drag myself out of bed. A quick look at my bedside tells me. It's still early. Too early. If I had it my way, the world wouldn't start at least until good way into that. Amen to that. Please, can we just start doing that, please? Okay. But sadly, life isn't just that wonderful. Pulling back to the curtains, let the light flood into my room. I suppress the urge to let out a hiss, almost blinding myself in the process. You smart motherfucker, you knew what was going to happen. I swear. Pulling back the curtains to let the light... Oh, fuck. I already read that. You didn't hear that first part. Too bright. The rest of my time getting ready spent fighting with my uniform. Dude, this guy has an issue of fabrics, I swear. they fighting his blanket, his fucking ties and everything. Okay, anyway, a tie becomes all the more problematic to put on when you're half asleep. Oh god, I think I actually got my hand stuck in it. Almost choking myself to death. The most pathetic fight ever. I finished letting the tie and the rest of my uniform complete, laying peacefully with me. Got the tie lesson. Unable to find a comb, I settled for just flattening my hair down with my hands. Blinking in the mirror and looking back at someone with messy black hair. This is starting to sound like my life. Like, I mean, it, 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 like, I'm starting to relate to this a little bit. Eh, it's close enough, yeah. Somewhat distressed and somewhat ready, I stumbled out of my room. My legs still not fully awake. Emily, the uneven steps carry me dangerously downstairs, and I soon emerge from into the kitchen. I'm greeted by silence. Oh, that's happy. This kitchen is empty. A familiar scene for me. My parents are what you might call workaholics. Basically, they spend more time at their respective jobs than they ever do here. I only ever get to catch them during the evening while we're eating. Then everyone is off the bed, and the cycle repeats. Well, that sounds miserable. I mean, like, the cycle repeating, not like being around your parents or being away from them. I mean, that's each their own, you know. Stagnation is horrible. Don't get me wrong, I understand they have to work in order to keep us living comfortably. So I don't hate them for it. It just gets, I don't know, lonely? Oh well, it's a good thing I have no friends to give me company. There's no use moping about it. It's been 
like this for years now, so I don't know why I was getting all emotional about it. Plus, I ate of the M not being around is I quickly had to learn to cook myself. Quick at the ways of cooking skills. Let's see how it's going to be. It's amazing how fast you can adapt to that sort of thing when you're starving. I think I just have not I don't have enough time for anything fancy to eat breakfast, so I'll settle for toast. You can never go wrong with toast. Okay, you might be able to go wrong with toast. Might. I have a sudden traumatic flashback when the toaster erupted to the plane. God damn. Flames. Demon toaster. Ah, uh, what a day that was. But I've learned from my mistakes now. It won't happen a second, uh, third time. Having devoured the only slightly charred toast, I sling my bag over my shoulder before starting for the front door. Give the empty house one last look over before opening the front door. It's kind of depressing to have no one to say goodbye to. Say goodbye to yourself, man. Say goodbye to yourself. Have some self-respect. Talk to yourself. Talk to the demons inside your head. That's what I do. You didn't hear that. But then again, this has been the same for every weekday morning ever since forever ago. The sun is shining high in a cloudless sky. Birds are chirping overhead. Waves of students are passing by, happily chatting with one another as they all make their way to school. It's all so horrible. Damn, this dude's a downer. I'm not so much of a morning person. I can't even get to fathom how everyone can be so bright-eyed and bushy-tailed right now. I mean, it's taken all my willpower just to be able to put a foot in front of the other without falling, just crumbling, Going to hell with my demons. I have to hope the breakfast kicks and gives me the energy. Do you mean the burnt toast you ate? Yeah, that's gonna kick in. I need to. I need before I'm forced to literally drag myself. Well, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. Huh? While keeping my head down, my eyes glued to the ground. As I uttered on, I suddenly noticed that a bribery act. A vibrant atmosphere from a forest gun. Silence completely taking over my steps. And the only thing making noise. The air is still. Huh? That's a bit strange. Bringing my head up, I'm at an unsettling sight. The street is deserted. No students. No cars. Not even the cheerful chirping of the birds are gone. Ah, uh, hell, shit's about to go down. What? I hurried forward, hoping at least to run into somebody. Anyone. I bet he fell asleep again. That's why I bet. Even the sun's once golden rays seemed muted. The world's tamed in dreamy tones. But there still isn't a cloud in the sky. Okay, this is definitely starting to freak me out. I need to just a splitting pain shoots through my head, stopping me in my tracks. Like a searing poker being thrust through my skull. A headache? Now? Nothing is making any sense. Desperately trying to keep myself upright, as I clutch my hand to my head, I stagger forwards. Unlike the headaches from before, that gradually died down. This one only seems to be getting worse. Bump. 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 It won't stop at all. I'm brought down to my knees. I can hardly think straight. My head brightening to explode at any moment. And then, for gritted teeth, a pained expression. I see it. Something that, sh that shouldn't exist. Well, it, it yet clearly does, as confirmed by my own terrified eyes. Oh, a monster. Scary. I guess this is what he's been seeing. I've seen him scarier, I guess. That's the only word that can come to my scrambled mind. A hulking, grotesque mass of flesh. <laughs> 
with gnarled fangs and red slit eyes, sing a searing pain. Closest thing I can relate, relate to would be a dog, but no dog I know is three times bigger than me. Its form practically eclipses the sun. How big is this motherfucker? I mean, if it's three times bigger than him, and it eclipses the sun, then, you know. It snorts with flared nostrils, something like steam ex exhaled out. Given the intense stance and the fact that it's blocking my way, I only assume it's here for me. But, why? Because you've been a net. Naughty boy, and you're about to get token. You're about to get punished. That's why. What the hell is this thing? Where did it come from? Why does it want me? A million and one questions race through my head, but I doubt I'm gonna get any answers from this. This thing. There's only one thing I can do whenever presented with such odds, and that is to. Run like hell! Oh, wait, I got options here. Okay, I could do the smart thing and run like hell. Or, well, then again, he can probably keep up with me. I mean, it looks kind of like a ram, so I assume it's fast. I can stand my ground. <laughs> yeah, that's going to work real well. Well, seeing as I'm screwed either way, might as well go down with some pride. Of course. I don't know what the hell this thing is, or why it suddenly appeared before me, but I'm not gonna let it take me down without a fight. Ignoring the pain that threatens to consume my skull, I straighten myself up and stare back into its hateful eyes. Then I turn to my fist and flash out with lightning. My fist connecting with its head clearly with a solid impact. The oh, hell, we're kicking this thing's ass! Take this, foul beast! Wham! Dot dot dot. Oh shit. Oh no, okay, no. That, that, bad idea. Bad idea. That did nothing. In fact, it looks even angrier than it did before now. Great! All I managed to do was bruise my own fist. I hope I haven't broken anything. I think that's the least of your worries right now. Breaking something in your fist. I honestly think that is the least of your worries right now. Maybe not, but maybe. I rear back from my pra from my brutal attack. Giving it, giving the fist a question. Good in, in question and good shake. It's still saying, you know, like like he's like. You rotten kids, I guess, I guess, I don't know. It still stinks. Ow. This guy's all about shaking his hands. Clearly. Oh, look at what game we're talking about. What do I do now? My blazing surprise attack was met with complete indifference. And now I think it's too late to run as the creature is gearing itself up for a charge. His front legs digging into the ground. This might not have been a mistake. It might have been a mistake. Just maybe. Maybe. I try to turn tail and begin running, but the beast kicks off the ground straight towards me. There's nothing else I can do. I brace myself as best as I can for the inevitable bone shattering impact. This flash is so bright. He's got a thing with bright lights too. Right before the beast can connect me, and bring my life to a grisly end. A dazzling radiant light floods my vision, engulfing both me and the monster. The beast stops in its tracks. A guttural tr cry escaping it before it vaporizes before my eyes. What? What the hell just happened? Oh, that's, oh, that's a cute voice. Okay, what? Think of the good boys. Jeez, what happened? I, I'm, yeah, they're, they're gonna have to deal with my boy acting. Jeez, that was a close one. Are you all right? A cheerful voice chirps. A welcome sound after the terrors of that. That thing. Don't talk to him. We have to leave before. And another voice that's less cheerful. 
In fact, they sound angry. More than anything. Big Titted Angels save the day. I shouldn't know. The light soon fades, revealing my saviors. No. This is definitely the last thing I expected. Two girls roughly my age standing before me. I blinked several times before I scrub my eyes, hoping things might make a little bit more sense. This can't be real. Don't question it. I don't care if it's real or not. Just go with it. I'm having more trouble believing these girls are actually standing for me than I did the monster. Ah! Well, that's personal issues, man. I mean, you don't, you don't like, take care of yourself, Fanny, from your morning routine, sounds like. Which, I don't know, some people are in that. Like, I mean, I like this, so. Not that I like dudes. Because I like ladies, but, you know. Not there is there anything wrong. I gotta explain everything I say, really. Okay. Wounding weapons costume sinking straight out of a fantasy book. It's all a bit much for my brain to attempt to process. What? What the heck was that? Shadow. A shadow. Oh. A shadow! You didn't hear that first part. Cheerful of the two simply says that the man her stance to relax himself. Huh? Is that supposed to explain everything? I glance down at my feet, where my own shadow stretches. But the girls burst into a giggle. <laughs> Not your own shadow, silly! I think we, we just took care of, which you're welcome for, by the way, is what we call a shadow. The physical manifestation of all the hatred, negative emotions that might lurk into one's heart. Normally, they're not so aggressive during the day, though. It was really out for you. We're usually pretty good at nabbing them before they get you, but this one completely took us by surprise. I'm happy we got here in time. You're not hurt, are you? No, I'm fine, but. As if things weren't bad enough that we had to reveal ourselves to them. Oh, you're gonna be revealing a lot more than that to me, honey. Don't worry. Now, you're just casual casually babbling away. Things that are no, no normal person should have had the right to know. Have you lost your mind? I'm cut short by a far more aggressive looking. I'm cut short by the far more aggressive looking of the pair. This expression has grown darker and darker as a cheerful one has spoken. Because she's unable to take it anymore. She exploded, causing both of us to jump. Oh, but he looks so confused. And now that you've seen one of the shadows firsthand, I don't think it's just a little too late for us to quietly slip it back into the shadows. Oh, well, um. Her eyes narrowed into a bright and clear. It's clear she is not happy. She is not happy. But I don't think she has anything to counter that. See? You worry too much. Don't we tell him what he needs to know. Nothing more, nothing less. Dippy girl brings her attention back to me. A sparkle on her eye. Right, so, Kente, where are, were we? Uh, we were, wait, how do you know my name? Huh? Oh, whoops, she puts her hand, her hand, and, wait, she puts a hand to her mouth as if to try to take back the words. The questions continue to pile up, and I still haven't got any answers. But, you idiot! Whap, the serious one, wraps her fist against the other one's head. She is so mean, I am gonna love this one. And sticks her tongue out in sort of a tee hee bat, my bad, kind of way. So, you guys know me? 
I've never seen them in my life. And given how they look, I definitely think I would remember them. I don't know, man. You tell me. Well, we don't know you personally, but we've been watching over you for a while now. You've become quite the point of interest recently, you know. Me? What the heck did I ever do to get so much attention? As far as I know, I'm just an average student who lives an average life, doing average things. Oh, this can't be the same typical protagonist from any kind of anything. Literally anything. Look, look at anything. Get. So, after this, I guess I can't really call my life average anymore. Can't really go into details because you know, top secret, but no, but let's just say it's not our, it's in our it's not our best interest for you to fall into the wrong hands. You won't believe how much effort we've been putting into keeping you safe you now. Actually, I'm kinda of relieved we finally get to meet. So you can finally appreciate all our hard work. She beams at me leaning in, perhaps a bit too close. I don't wanna be complaining here now. Get as close as you want. I... He's throwing so much at me here. I can hardly think straight. Just... Who the heck are you guys? Hmm... She falls deep in the butt. Her nose scrunching up. I guess she's choosing the words carefully so she avoids another brutal assault from her partner. Think of this as your guardian angels, okay? Saying that, she gives her bow a flourish bow of <laughs> And I got to learn to breathe, I swear. Flourish and it shatters between her fingers. Moments later, shattered pieces of the bow began to gather behind her. Shards seemed to be <laughs> piecing back together rapidly until finally they form a pair of wings on her back. The wings are not strictly attached to her, at least it seems to function as if they sway into the breeze and give off glimmer every now and then. Wait, are they literally angels? Let me get this straight. Start from the beginning. The thing that attacked me, that monster, we call those shadows. Yep! Yeah. These shadows have supposedly been hunting for me for a while now. Because apparently, if they catch me, it'll be bad for unspecified reasons. Yep. Really bad. And you guys, whoever you are, be batting them from the shadows to keep Amanda from the shadows to keep me safe from harm. She nods enthusiastically. It looks like I've just been and about about got the grip on what this whole thing is. Even if it was a little sparse on details, knowing all this, it brings me to the conclusion that... Let's see, I have no choice but to believe them. These girls lost it. You know, considering what just all happened, considering the only one I think be losing it's you. So I'm just gonna go, I have no choice but to believe them. As crazy as all this sounds, I really can't deny the evidence before me. That monster is definitely real. I have no reason to doubt these girls who destroyed that thing right before my eyes. Okay, so... Uh, what happens now? Hmm... Well now, Shadows have gotten more aggressive. I really don't think we can go back to our old job of watching you from afar. Like the stalkers we are. After we're, oh, we're, we were lucky to barely catch that thing just now, after all. Somehow, I don't like how that sounds. Or what it might imply. At all. Mind the least bit. So we'll be parting ways now. 
expect us to be keeping an extremely close eye on you from now on, okay? Weren't you always really supposed to be doing that, or oh hell, these bitches are popping up everywhere? Which I, I'm not complaining. Cause they look at them. I mean, that has popped up randomly. Like you know, you know. Daddy. Bye bye for now. She gives me a wink and wave before taking off the other direction. The less enthusiastic partner simply turns her head for me one last. <laughs> before or, or following after her. I'm staying left completely alone, like always, because I'm a sad, pathetic, low life twat. Within the street, just where moments ago, my entire world, not 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 just part of world, this entire world, just so you know, just spun around on its head, like one of those like horror movies, you know. We're getting tapped and like the head just rolls on the floor. I did all that just happen? Ah, oh, jeez. I'll just have to wait for a later time, though. Well, that seems like the perfect spot to stop this video. I'm sorry that like it took me so long to get it uploaded. I meant to have it uploaded a lot sooner. I'm gonna have the second one uploaded probably right after this. So, be ready for that. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're like me, well, it's not about that scrap button. It's real cuddly. Just try it. Uh, and yeah, kids, try not to die until next time. That's it.